Hi guys, it's Ellen and welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be doing kind of like a vlog. And remember how I told you guys I have a very special guest on my channel? Well, I do. Everyone say hi to Aisha. Hey. So I just made her the admin of two of my pages, Ladies Fitness Mention, which I haven't really had a chance to really talk about. But um, we're going to get some inside on Aisha. So Aisha. Hi. So... Tell us a little bit about you. Tell us um, why you're doing Ladies Fitness Mission, why you um, are wanting to start your own page. Okay, so my name is Aisha, of course. I'm 24 years old. I am going to get my personal trainer certificate right now. So I figured starting a fitness page and being included in Ellen's fitness page that she already has would help me to get going with my own fitness page. So I'm pretty excited to be a part of it. Awesome. So what motivates you to keep going? Like what was the reason that you decided, hey, enough's enough. I'm going to start now. Um, okay. So I was going through a really tough breakup and I realized that my insecurities had ruined so much for me. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my insecurities have to do with my body weight. So I figured it was time to stop hating myself and to start actually doing something about it because I usually just sit around and hate my body but yet I'm still stuffing it full of pizza and ice cream and all this junk. Right. So I decided it was time to make a change and losing weight and gaining confidence over the past year has really is what kept me going honestly. Awesome. So that's your motivation. That's why you keep doing it every day. Yep. That's what keeps you from not missing a a day at the gym and yeah I mean don't get me wrong I still have my days just like everybody else but it's a lot quicker for me to get back on the wagon now that I've been so consistent than it would have been a year ago so awesome so what are the things that you do on a daily that I don't know that helps you to keep it going like what do you do <laughs> on a daily what's your daily fitness um, routine besides the gym um so here recently I've been doing a lot more of workouts at home especially with like the snow because your girl doesn't want to be out there driving in the snow <laughs> Truth. so I've been really working on um the at home part of it because I know a lot of people can't make it to the gym whether it's work or their kids or whatever so I want right. to be able to give that kind of aspect to people as well so I've been working on that and I feel like um a big thing for me is doing like self affirmations in the morning you know self-love a right. lot of it to help, you know, just improve my self-esteem to keep me going, so. Good deal. What's also part of your daily? Like, do you do supplements? Do you meal prep? Yes. So, I meal prep every Sunday. I usually um, get all of my lunches for the week. It's usually either a salad or chicken and broccoli or something fairly healthy. And then as for my dinners, it's a little bit more lenient since I have a lot more of my calories to go. And as for supplements, I do use Thrive religiously. I am in love with the Thrive products, y'all. Not just because I promote them, but because it was the first product that I literally felt working for me day one. So I'm just absolutely in love with it. It's helped me calm down my anxiety. It's helped with the weight loss, helps with mood support, and it helps with energy because your girl will be lacking on energy because she has very low iron levels. True. So that really okay. helps me get throughout the day. So not only that you're a Thrive rep, but you also like, you, not, you use it as well as yep. rep the company. Yes, ma'am awesome so that kind of like gets you gets you on the go like mm -hmm. thrive offers a lot of different things versus like sleep um sleep help and like yeah we have kinds of so many different products i mean mostly i promote the three step because that is what gets me going keeps me going throughout the day and make sure that i have everything i need to work properly throughout the day awesome but there's um there's a few other things like there's things that help you with sleep um, there's different patches for like weight loss, mood support, there's gut health stuff, there's skincare, right. there's a whole bunch of things. So cool. Now I know I work with, if you don't know, her and I work at the same place. So I see her like literally daily. So I know that she wears these patches all the time. And in the mornings you take a supplement I see because sometimes I, I, I watch her stories. So like she's an inspiration and a motivation to a lot of other people who are trying to get on this, on this path. But I see that you wear the patch as well as mm -hmm. the, the daily morning supplements and the sleep supplement, right? Yes. So the three steps is 
you wake up and the first 20 minutes of your day on an empty stomach you're going to take one to two capsules and that's going to be where you get a lot of your vitamins for the day your minerals mm -hmm. and that's what supplies a lot of the energy and then you wait about 10 to 15 minutes later and then you're going to drink your shake which comes in like several different flavors that is also going to give you vitamins, but that focuses more on your um, antioxidants, lean muscle support, things like that. Right. And then the patch is where it becomes more customizable to each person because there's several different patches. Like I said, the mood support, the regular just wearable nutrition, and then there's several different weight loss ones as well. How many do you wear at a time? Because sometimes I've seen that you wear two. So Yeah, so um, depending on what patches I wear, I don't know. I usually stick between the weight loss and the mood support, but you can wear both of them at the same time. So Awesome. So, meal prep. How do you keep it fresh and not get stale? Like, what what keeps you from, like, saying, ugh, I'm so tired of having the same thing all the time? How do you freshen that up all the time? That is kind of um, a thing that I do need to work on because I usually stick to the same things. And I know it's not sustainable for everybody, but I personally love salads. So that's what I Same. usually eat every day. So if you can eat that every day, that would be a huge plus for you because your lunch is going to be very minimal on calories. So you'll be able to eat um, a little more lenient for dinner. So on lunch, mostly focus on proteins. Yes. I focus a lot on proteins throughout my holiday, actually, because women work better with lots of protein, especially when it comes to weight loss. So if you spread it out throughout your day, you're going to benefit a lot. More and if you can't tell, your girl's got her lunch right here in her lap. She's got chicken and uh, broccoli and cheese, whereas... I just made this shit yesterday. Yeah, whereas your girl is eating... <laughs> so I need to work better on that as well. That's the whole reason for... Uh, this whole change and the whole 2020 and that's the biggest reason why I brought Aisha into my channel because um, she's been doing this for a while and she's been having like amazing results like I've seen her go from this girl that worked in our cafe to now she works in produce and her size drop is so significant and she looks amazing Aww. so yeah. well because you've been just working at it for so hard for so long and you can really show, see that you're your, your payoff is showing for so sure. that's another big reason why I'm bringing you into my YouTube channel as well as both of my Facebook pages because if you're an inspiration um, and a motivation to yourself I feel that you are a motivation and inspiration to many other people out there just like us who are trying to girl don't cry <laughs> <laughs> a motivation and an inspiration to others um, whether it be a female another female or another or even a male who is trying to get back into that healthy lifestyle to take control of their life yeah I think you're the person because you you're getting yourself together. I'm trying to get myself together. <laughs> Not working, but I, I have a lot of emotional emotional days. So if you see that I'm in my A off my pages, it's okay because my girl Aisha has got my back and she's going to be helping. You know, I, I gave her creative control of my Facebook pages because she's trying to get a Facebook following of her own. Um, she's wanting to create a Facebook page um, and group and a YouTube channel of her own. So I feel if I make her an admin of my stuff to get her experience, um, to go out there and try it for, you know, and see how it flows, see how she can build the momentum and use that to, excuse me, use that when she gets her own Facebook group page. Um, and she can carry the, all that over with her and tell all the followers that she gains on my page to go follow her there. Um, and th that's mainly why, th why I have those two pages is to inspire other people. Um, granted, like I said, I've had some emotional issues the last four years. So I've really been MIA for the last two and a half off my pages. Um, but I'm going to get back to doing better with that. And that starts by adding Aisha. So um, what else can you tell us about like your gym stuff? Like how do you keep it fresh at the gym? So what do you, what's your typical gym uh, routine like? <laughs> Okay, so when it comes to setting out a gym plan, I really try to um, get to know people and mm -hmm. what their goals are because it's a lot broader than just losing weight. You know what I mean? Right. So for me, when I first started, it was losing weight. I wanted to tone up my back fat, um, tone up my saggy arms, and yeah, we be... all we we all got that uh, grandma bat <laughs> right. going on. And I'm not going to lie, just a little quick tip, 
all these people want to go out here and drop weight just like that overnight mm -hmm. and that is not what you want to do because i promise you you're going to have saggy skin all over your body and it takes so long to tone up saggy skin so please do not be discouraged if you're not losing weight quick 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 because that's not what you want you want it to be slow so you can tone up at the same time so just key there but i really focus on um the body parts that i want to tone so i really focus on my triceps my biceps my back and my stomach my legs are pretty good for the most part so i don't really focus on that as much but those are my three things i really hit hard at the gym because i do not have weights at home true okay so do you have some favorite uh, machines at the gym um i really i forget the name of it i can't think of it up top of my head but it gets you like twisting your whole body like you sit down and you hold on to these bars and you twist your body from one side to the other and that's gonna oh, really is help. it the one that that you're on your knees like you can swing and then no not on your knees you're sitting down on a seat and oh. your legs are in front of you one. and you hold on to the handlebars and you just twist your torso that's what really has been helping me form the hourglass shape of my body so i really love that one of course, the Smith, um, I think it's called the Smith machine. That's what I do a lot of um, my arm pull-ups and my squats on. Is that the, um, oh, that's not the one that you, you stand underneath when you do your, yeah, that's with your shoulders? With the bar on my Over shoulder? shoulders? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So, she posts a lot on her uh, her Facebook stories. So, I can tag um, tag her name here. If you want to go check her out on Facebook, check out some of her... Uh, well, I don't think some of your stories are still up anymore. No. Maybe some of your videos are there, but... Yeah. Um, we're going to be going to the gym sometime um, together. I'm going to do some videography for her um, because she wants to add that to the fitness pages. Like, show some of her tips and tricks, some of the things that she does in the gym um, to better help other people, which I think is really, really awesome. So, thank you so much. Um, she's like, like she said, she's trying to become a personal trainer, but and that also starts with personal training herself, which yeah. she knows better than anybody how hard that can be. Oh my god, but <laughs> yeah, she laughs, but she knows. Um, but look at her, I mean, she's she's come so far in the last couple of years so i'm really proud of you Aish. i know i can't believe when i started this fitness journey i was at 260 pounds like that still blows my mind i was that heavy what size clothes were you wearing at that time i was in between depends on where you're shopping but i was in between like a pant size of 18 and a 20 and right now i just got into roughly like a 13 14 so, so see you've come well, come a long way Thank you. so the tip is consistency so sure. um if you don't have discipline and consistency you're not going to get anywhere um mental health is just as important as physical health so if you are getting mentally discouraged like she said uh, you're not seeing quick results uh, that's going to defeat defeat you you are your own worst enemy yep and i know that better than anybody because i've had a lot of mental challenges the last four years now um going back to the to losing my mom that's when i my health really spiraled out of control i literally was going through about five gallons of ice cream a week um just because that was the only thing that i knew that was the only coping mechanism that i had um and that was going back to a lot of old roots um back from when i was younger when i would get bullied and hazed and tortured um, by other kids at school i would come home crying and i would hide in my room with like two boxes of snack cakes and just pile drive off them because uh, that was the only way that i could control i had uh, the only thing that i had control over was my emotions and how i felt and food was like kind of like this pain reliever that i could just but then later you feel guilty about you know eating all that stuff and then it's just like oh my god what did i do and then you're just like <laughs> you know what i mean yeah but like i said i'm giving aisha creative control over both of my pages um i'd like to see where she goes with it i um, hopefully this will help her get her facebook group off the ground um if you have any other questions for aisha we're gonna have to be heading back from lunch pretty soon but if you have any qu other questions for aisha please feel free to drop comments below at the end of this video um we'll tag um i'll try to tag i don't know if it's gonna let me i may have to go in on my computer and edit later um 
Um, we'll tag our the Facebook pages in it. It's called Ladies Fitness Mission. Both of the groups are called that. I'm going to open up that one from private to public. Like I said, Aisha is going to be the um, admin, the second admin, I should say, on both of them. So if you have questions or anything, you can find both of us on both of those pages. We get, we'll get notifications on the daily. Um, we'll try to update as often as we can. Who knows? We might do some videos, some like Facebook lives. Um, to really get things going. Um, also, if you guys have suggestions yes, for I need Aisha I need to name, for name group. her please group, <laughs> please drop comments below. Um, give this page a like and a thumbs up. Share. And go follow Aisha on Facebook. It's Aisha Nichelle Lipscomb. Look for that. Follow her. Watch her, her journey. Constantly sharing tips. Yes. She's going to constantly share tips. She's going to constantly promote Thrive as well as promotes um, health and mental page. health. Yes. yes. So she's also going to have, like I said, a Facebook group up um, or a Facebook page. I don't know how she's going to play that just yet. Um, but I if think you, it's going to be a page. For a sure. page? For sure. I think it's going to be a page and it's going to be Like a full, on... like a community page, not just like a, like a private group. I think it might be private. To start just it depends. off. Just because I feel like everybody loves to be part of a secret. You know what I mean? Oh. So I might keep it private for a little bit. How about secret-ish? Ooh, that's a good one. But it's See? really going to be focusing on fitness tips and self-esteem. So go check it out. Give my girl a like and a share. And we will catch y'all later. Bye.